Okay, so in this video we're going to look at how we can sketch um, some uh, quadratic inequalities this time. Okay, so number one, y is greater than x squared plus 1. Okay, so y equals x squared plus 1 would just look like this. Okay, now we need to have it as dotted line because we've got a greater than, strictly greater than. Okay, so it's going to look something like this. A little bit more symmetric, I would say. It's to be. Okay. So then we need to identify which region we want. Okay. So if we substitute in 0, 0, just as we did for the linear inequalities, we've got 0 is greater than 0 squared plus 1. Now, is 0 greater than 1? No, it's not. So this is not the region I want. I want that region there, okay? And so that's how we can do it for that first one, okay? So remember, you're choosing a point that's not on the curve here to identify which region we're considering. And here I'm identifying the region that I want rather than the region that I don't want, okay? Um, if there's any kind of confusion on that, okay, I've gone through that in the previous video, um, and really, my advice is just do what the exam question says, okay? Right, number two. Y is less than or equal to x squared take away 4. So that's going to be a parabola going through 2 and minus 2 on the x-axis. And it's a solid curve, so uh, it'll look something like this. Minus 2, a plus 2, and that's minus 4. So where um, so we're going to choose a point then. So let's try 0, 0. So we get 0 is less than or equal to 0 squared take away 4. Now is 0 less than or equal to minus 4? No, it's not. So that's not in the region I want. So I want the region outside, which would be that. OK? So that's number 2. Okay, number three, um, y is less than 12 take away 4x take away x squared. So, I'm going to pop that into my quadratic solver. Find out where it crosses the x-axis. So we've got uh, minus 1x squared take away 4x plus 12. And we are getting 2 and minus 6. So 2 minus 6 is a dotted curve. It's a negative parabola. So 2 and minus 6. So something like... Oh, that was bad. <laughs> that was bad. Right. I was thinking about it too much, I think. All right, let's just try that again. Right. Something like that. Okay, so minus 6 and 2. And that's 12. OK, so let's choose a point that's not on the curve. So let's try 0, 0 as usual. So 0, 0. We get 0 is less than 12, take away 0, take away 0. So is 0 less than 12? Well, yes, it is. So that is in the region I want. And so it is this region that I am interested in. Okay, and so that's how we can identify regions with these quadratic inequalities.